Do you need to catch your user's browser information? Let me show you how. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And gathering and using your user's browser information can be very beneficial, especially if you're experiencing issues on your website. So I'm already in a form that I've created, a very simple volunteer signup form. And in order to do this, we are going to utilize the hidden box widget. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose to add a form element. We're going to choose widgets. We're gonna search for hidden, hidden box. Now you can see it automatically says that this field is hidden and it will not be seen on the form. So I'm gonna come over to the right-hand side to the gear, the properties. And right here where it says browser information, we're going to tick this on to yes. We do want the browser information. One thing to consider, if you're utilizing this on a form that asks for their email, one thing that you wanna do is go up to the settings then over on the left-hand side, emails, and we want to edit this autoresponder. The autoresponder is going to be the one that gets sent to them. So we want to remove their browser information from that autoresponder email. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this one. Perfect. We'll go to save. Now, let's give this a test. I'm gonna go up to publish. Let's open in a new tab. And let me fill this out real quick. And let me choose a date and then submit. Perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out really quick on my mobile device, and then let's take a look at what this looks like in the submissions. So I'm gonna head back over to my form builder, then up here at the top where it says form builder, we're gonna change this over to tables. And we can see we have the two submissions that I just did. So over on the far right hand side, we see our hidden box. So this first one right here, if we click on it and open up, we can see all the information about my device. We can see that I was using Chrome, on a Mac, we get to see the device was a laptop, the language was English, we get the resolution, the time zone, the agent, we get all kinds of information from utilizing this widget. Now, if we look up at the top, we can see this one says unknown browser, but if we open it up, we can see that this was on a phone. We can see that it was from within Messenger. So I sent myself the form within Messenger from my desktop so I could access it on my phone. So I get to see where this is happening, which is really, really neat and beneficial for me as the form creator. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to gather your user's browser information, let us know and I'll see you next time.